Protecting your data and infrastructure from a potential breach is a critical responsibility of every third-party risk program and requires a 360-degree view of a portfolio. When you're dealing with thousands of vendors and hundreds of thousands of controls and subcontrols, how does portfolio risk findings help find the potentially exploited vulnerabilities? Yeah, so one of the best use cases for portfolio risk findings is again, helping our users find that meaningful signal and the noise that can often be created by large caches of data. And in the wake of an event, like a ransomware event or a security breach, we don't have the time to go back and solicit self-attested questionnaires and have them delivered and then analyze the answers provided. So again, using the predictive data along with the existing self-attested questionnaires available on the exchange, we're able to provide that data to our users immediately. And then using the framework mapping functionality of this feature, we're able to show them which of those controls matter specifically to that event. So looking here in the menu, you'll see that we have quite a number of threat profiles these get developed within 24 hours of any cyber event occurring, and then they get updated as we find more information out in the wake of that event. So you see here we have some generic things like ransom threat profile that will help users understand where they're susceptible to ransomware, both events that have taken place and potentially events that might happen in the future. As we know, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, when it comes to certain ransomware attacks. We can also look at more specific events like, let's say, the Hafnium Exchange Server Breach. This framework is mapped to MITRE ATT&CK, which is allowing us to see which techniques and tactics those malicious actors used to exploit the vulnerabilities of your third parties. And so again, you can see which ones we're using based on the self-attested data, which are the first two without the green tag, or the predictive data, which have the little green tag there. This list is showing you which of your third parties have vulnerabilities that could be exploited within the kill chain used in that attack. If you go down to the bottom and again, take a look at your risk registry, you'll see which one of those techniques is most prolifically available across your third party ecosystem. And again, provide you some insight into where you are missing the most coverage as a first party and that you want to be aware of that across your ecosystem, tactic 1195, which is a supply chain compromise, that is something that you are widely vulnerable to and susceptible to an attack based on the third parties that you're working with. So that might be an initiative that you want to take as a first party manager to make sure that you are providing some protection in addition to following up with each of these third parties and asking them to mitigate that gap in their control coverage. Knowing precisely which gap controls are susceptible to vulnerabilities in the wake of a potential breach is critical in triaging the problem immediately when time is limited. Gary, what sets CyberGRX apart and how we're designed to address threats? The beauty of CyberGRX is that where most organizations may have a risk control framework, our framework is based on threats and controls. And our threat framework is the MITRE ATT&CK framework. This allows our customers to use portfolio risk findings to identify tactics and techniques that have been published as the technique used in a particular exploit and identify that technique as a control deficiency and then go identify those third parties that may have that deficiency. They can then develop a plan of action to go address it. And so even if you're not a security specialist, the security community at large, once there is a breach, the first thing that they do is they identify the pattern that was used to misappropriate that or exploit that vulnerability. To learn more or request a demo, visit cybergrx.com.